Hey everybody, happy Wednesday, happy Facebook Live night. Um, I am actually going to get the computer running because, oops, sorry about that. Um, I'm Melissa Thomas from c to Steam Fame, and I wanna make sure that you can see me. I'm going to, um, <clears throat> We're gonna take a look at a fun project that my team is working on right now. And then we're also, I'm gonna have to adjust this a little bit. And then we're also going to um, take a look at some online exclusive products that are out right now. So let me switch this down. Um, and um, yeah, if you've got comments, comment below, tell me you're here. Remember, I don't see you're here unless you comment. So. So, um, I have a couple of classes that are going live. Um, one of the classes that's up right now is the Merry Makers Suite um, and the Merry Makers Christmas card class. <clears throat> and I wanted to show you what is included this month. I also wanted to show you the stamp set we're using. So, Just a little wonky today. I'm not sure or what's going on, but we're gonna we're gonna get it all worked out. Okay. Yeah, we good now. Okie dokie. All right. So, Merry Makers. Um, it'll be after Thanksgiving. I'm teaching it on Sunday after Thanksgiving or the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. And we're gonna feature the Joy To You stamp set, which is a really fun word only stamp set, but it you can create really cool looks. So we've got some ombre things and I think you're gonna love it. Um, what I'm most excited about is the paper though. So this is actually, I think the most traditional Christmas paper that we've got. And what I like about it is we've got some pine cones and poinsettias. We've got some really nice checks. Um, and then we've got some, you know, florals and berries and leaves. And then the back side, <clears throat> we have a really nice red with beautiful music notes, a green, so shaded spruce and real red, some more music notes, and then a couple of wood grain papers, which are really nice. So super excited about this. The class features um, half a pack of paper. I'm pretty sure it's half a pack. I can check and see. Um, a eighth of a pack of this paper, which is the really beautiful, joyful 12 by 12 DSP. And you're gonna get a, an eighth of a pack of that. So a selection of this, yeah, half a pack of the other. You're also gonna get a full bolt of the very vanilla um, Buffalo Check ribbon. And you're going to get a half a pack, I think, I'm going to just confirm, a half a pack of these uh, sparkle gems, which are really, really pretty. And um, there's more up under here as well. But um, yeah, so this is a fun class, really pretty, classic, classic Christmas. It'll be a nice way to round out your Christmas cards for this year. So, um, and I think you'll get some really fun ideas. So if you haven't signed up, you can go find my Merry Makers class. So we've got that going on. We've got, it's craft fair season. And so next week starts craft fair. So I've been working on my little cups. Um, thanks to my mother-in-law, we did some, some fun paper cutting. So this is one way I use up my scrap DSP is um, I decorate these cups. And um, I get the cups from like an online place. You can just get little mini coffee cups. And then you take one of the cups apart and then it has a little lid and then you can put little treats. A K cup fits really well in here. What are the other things? Um, definitely a couple of little chocolates. Um, so I've got all sorts of different patterns and I'll have these out at craft fairs starting next week. So if you're local to me and you want to get some of these, let me know if you want like a coordinated set of them. Um, you know, um, I'm happy to make you a coordinated set. I've got kind of like a random, uh, mix right now. Um, but happy to do a coordinated set as well. So, um, and then I'll decorate the top with a really cute piece. I just haven't decided what I want to do. 
So we've got craft fairs, we've got merrymakers, we have bingo. So we do have my bingo event coming up. And bingo features the, let me make sure that I got this right, but I think bingo features the beautifully happy stamp set. So um, I had amassed some of these during celebration. And so everyone who gets a bingo card is gonna get the stamp set. And then we're gonna make some really fun cards with it. So looking forward to spring and right, all the things um, that are not Christmas, <laughs> which is nice. And then right now I'm working on some pieces for a Christmas sampler. So I wanted to show you guys what that, um, you know, what that looks like and um, kind of what we do. So we on our team make a Christmas sampler each Christmas. This will be our fifth Christmas doing it, which I'm super excited about. And we have nine squares that we build onto a piece of 12 by 12 paper. And so everybody sends in nine squares and everybody gets nine squares back. This year we have enough people on the team that not everybody's gonna get everybody's back, so it's just gonna be random. Um, and I think that's kind of fun and neat. Um, so we will be, um, those are all due to me on Saturday. And so I've been working a little bit on mine. So I'm gonna show you how we do the measurements for that. So we build from a three and a quarter by a three and a quarter piece. I'm gonna pull my little mini chopper out. So three and a quarter. My three and a quarter. So we start with a three and a quarter piece and we always agree on a certain color. Uh, it kind of depends on what the colors are in the DSP that year. Um, this year we had a lot of wild DSPs. <laughs> So we decided just to make it black, just to make it easier. So we are just doing black. Um, and then I decided for this one, I wanted to use this designer series paper. So I cut this to three by three, um, which this is part of that um, Joyful to You designer series paper. And then I wanted to use an image from the Cheers to the Season. So I thought this was cute and I wanted to do this. And then I'm probably going to, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offset it a little bit and I'm gonna add a little um, bow here. So, cause I wanted to do something with this paper. I think it's really pretty, um, but I also wanted to make sure or that, um, you know, I had um, some kind of uh, piece that's, uh, you know, like an embellishment or something. So. Center this so I just went into three by three and then I've got this, but I'm gonna do so we have two different buffalo check ginghams right now. So we have the bigger one that's with vanilla, and then we have a smaller one that is with white. Um, so I really like the vanilla one, but I think it's a little big for this project, so I'm actually gonna use the skinnier one. This one is a quarter inch, and this one is three eighths. So just a little bit wider. All right, so I'll tie a little bow on this side. So they don't have to be crazy complicated. Um, but I think when you have a stamp set, so we all kind of picked a different stamp set, then that's fun because everybody gets to, you know, see different pieces from different stamp sets. So next week, when I have my sampler put together, I will show you here. But it's a fun thing that you can do for your teams. Um, it's a fun thing to do with friends, like everybody can make one. You guys could get together and make them all at the same time. I'm like, that's a fun, you know, activity to do. And the other thing that I like is now I have them and I put the year on them. So now I know, you know, I have like a little history basically. All right, I really want this to be, yeah. Let's see, we'll see if we like it. So then if we put that there, yeah. 
That's cute. All right. Nice. And then if you guys want to see how I do the cups, I'm happy to show you that. Um, I know this was, this stamp set stamps so beautifully. It's such an easy stamp set to use. I will say I kind of like my ink pad a little under inked for this. So for this one, I, you know, this is shaded spruce, but it's not super, super dark. And so I think I like that. One of the things I noticed was that almost everybody on our team was doing a lot of blue. And so to balance that out, I decided that we needed, you know, a little bit of a different color. So doing a little more red and shaded spruce. That's fun. That's a nice, that's a fun project. All right. So let me show you how to do these because these are easy. You just have to know what you're doing. All right. So these are two milliliter cups. Oh no, that's not true. This is a bag for something else. That's hilarious though. And then they have these cute little lids on them to show you. So what you do is you take one of the cups apart <laughs> and you use that as your template. So this is the cup pulled apart and this still has the lip on it. The one I found to be more accurate actually doesn't have the lip on it. So I took some sharp scissors and kind of just cut along there. And so ripped the bottom out of the cup and then used the side and then was able to cut it on the side. So then once you've traced that out on a piece of paper, then I recommend kind of keeping an overhang on either end. It'll just make it easier when you put it on to the actual cup. And then hold it up to your cup. If you're using a pen or pencil to trace, make sure you do that on the side you're not using. So like in this case, I wouldn't put, you know, that wouldn't be the side I would put out. I'm gonna put the, the snowflakes out. And then once you kind of line it up and say, okay, this is, you know, I like the way that this overhangs or I want it to go this way. Then I've been using um, the wet glue. So I think that Tombow, the liquid Tombow, as much as I, as it pains me to tell you, I think that it's a great glue for this because it gives you a second to change your mind and readjust and and you don't need a ton um, and then i like to cover the seam first so whenever i do this i'll kind of hold it up cover the seam and i'll work away from the seam i don't want the seams to match or meet up so in this case i want this to go on the bottom so i'm going to tuck that under there and then i'm going to tuck this and i kind of almost tuck it underneath the lip and then have a nice tight hold and then I've just been kind of holding the seam down and making sure that you know it's pretty dry and then I've been tucking them in here <laughs> into the finished ones and then it's keeping them nice and tight and nothing's like pulling away or anything so I'm gonna work on what the little toppers are but I usually punch a small circle and I have like a little sentiment or a snowflake or something stamped and then you're able to pop the lid on and you have a really cute little gift. Sometimes I'll put a little bow, um, but now you have a really cute little gift for someone in your life. So um, these are fun. They're easy to stick in like teacher, um, you know, teacher cubbies and have the kids take to school or daycare. Um, so I love these a lot. So. Um, all right, let me know if you have any questions and I'm gonna show you two things. I got two really fun cards. So one card I got in the mail, gifts from Santa. So I was in the top 10 for our bigger group, cheers to you and the new year. So that's that radiant stitch die, which I really like. And then this is a tag, which is cute with the Santa. And he's well colored with his little presents. So I thought this was a really cute card. And then the other card I got, and I won a challenge, which I don't normally win. There were 99 entries on our team, but I won some iridescent backed sequins, which I think these, I don't even think you can get these right now. So that's exciting because these are, these are fun sequins. But look at this cute little card. 
Congratulations. Isn't that fun? And that's heat embossed with black heat embossing on there. Isn't that a fun one? So, and that's heat embossed too. thought that was a really cute card. And I'm taking something that is technically Christmas paper, holiday paper, right? And showing you how to, um, you know, how to use it. So, oh, it looks like I got in a great, oh, this actually isn't for the thing. This is um, actually for the month. Um, yay. Oh, that's for September. Oh, that's funny. We're just a little behind. It's no big deal. Um, I have some mail that has stacked up that I need to send out to my team too. So, all right. Well, y'all, thanks so much for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed that. Just showing a little bit about the team sampler and kind of what we do for our little sampler squares. Next week, come back and check that out. There's online exclusives. And next week, I'll have some samples to show you. And we'll play a little bit with the online exclusives. So, um, if you haven't had a chance to see them yet, um, then tune in next week. And I'll show you those. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks so much. And um, we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.